What do I see? Glowing, beckoning in the darkness, but a trader. This looks like a luxurious trader. Which is gonna be of no interest to me whatsoever. Um, by the way, I probably should have mentioned this last time, in the last episode, folks, but I am- oh, this is a building materials trader, okay. Well, in any case, doesn't matter, I don't have anything I can sell to you. Good to know it's here, it's right by- right by my little starting area. Uh, should have mentioned last time, I am pre-recording these, my friends, so, um, I have not read your comments in the last episode, because I have just finished recording the first one, I haven't even edited it yet, I just kept right on playing, and started a new file. So, um, yeah. I got my one piece of dirt that I found. <laughs> it's not the best. But, uh, go stick it over here. Do we have any hairs in here? We do. Okay, that's good. I do think the, the area has to be loaded for the hairs to come over here. I'll just leave them there for now. Maybe they'll have some babies. We do not have any grass yet. I do not have any sources of food whatsoever. I'm going to just throw some of these in here. Just to clear up some inventory space. And, uh... We'll just build my little base area right here. Just stick that there because I don't need that right now. Um, and in a matter of, as a matter of fact, let's also put this here. Clear up a little more inventory space. I do not need to carry this with me, and I do not need to carry both knives with me. It will be good to have. Probably don't need the axe either, since I don't have any grass, so I can't start a fire. So I don't need to be able to get wood, do I? Um, yeah. Alright, uh, I didn't find anything that way, just to the south. Let's maybe head west. Let's head westward. It is tough now because it is dark. But let's get up on a hill. See if maybe I'll get a little bit luckier. Um, I do have these seeds which I could plant to get them out of my inventory and also to make more hair traps. But, uh, problem with that is I don't have any dirt, do I? Alright, I don't think I see... Any ruins in this direction? Oh my goodness, the cat's calling the back of my chair again, folks. This is gonna be- this is gonna be a running gag. This is gonna be a running gag where I try to pause and then edit cleanly so that I can- uh, Oh no, I'm starving to death. Oh no, I'm starving to death. It will happen slowly because of the way I, I set things up. I told you that it was gonna be a challenge. Uh, but I am now taking damage from hunger. Alright. Let me see if I can tend to the cat uh, with a, a seamless transition. Boom! Boom! How was that? Did I do it? I bet I did it. I bet you couldn't even tell that I paused there. I paused mid-slide. It's the secret. <laughs> oh, god, I forgot that I was starving already. Um, I'm not likely to find many ruins in this direction because there appear to be mountains. I could try to look underground. Um, there's not gonna be any dirt underground either, though, as far as I know. One thing that I would really like to do is to see if it's possible to mod the world generation just a little bit. Ooh, I gotta be careful here. I might fall down into those holes. Uh, to see if it's possible to get, maybe as an uncommon thing, but to get, oh, oh, I almost didn't see this one. Interesting, what is this? Okay, little, little house thing here. Um, this, this doesn't look familiar. I'm not sure what it is. Hopefully there'll be some kind of loot vessel here. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to see if it's possible to mod it so that every once in a while you can get deposits of clay and maybe even soil deep underground. So that maybe you could go caving in a world like this. And, uh... Man. Not, not having the luck yet here either. Uh, and yeah, and maybe find clay and soil that way. So that it's at least possible. Oh, what do I see out of the corner of my eye? I see soil! Low fertility soil. Oh, there's even more. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, is this- I think this is one of those, uh, this is gonna have a farming vessel in it, right? Usually this is sticking out quite- quite a bit above ground, I think. Oh, there's so much soil here. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Okay. This is gonna give me a much better chance of survival. I really hope that I manage to, uh, ooh, even more. That I managed to make this happen before I starve to death, though. I did not starve to death a single time in my, my other playthrough of this challenge. Before I got to a point where I was pretty safe from starvation, that I had, a uh, more or less steady sources of, of food. Um... But I did get to the point where I started starving like this, so 
This is normal. This is all normal. Eight days before monsters appear. I'm not too worried about the monsters, to be honest. Uh, they shouldn't attack me unless I get real close to them. Because I've had it, I have it set on the passive setting. Oh, look at all this dirt! Look at all this beautiful soil! This is spectacular. Oh! Yes! Farming vessel! Please, 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 please have like a linen sack or something. Okay, well we got a couple of baskets. I only needed one more basket, but... Uh, did we get anything else in there? Maybe some cattails, I don't know. The other basket, uh, unless that trader wants to buy it, and I don't think it does. We'll just have to throw it away, really. A lot of stuff just gets thrown away in a challenge like this, which uh, I would normally hold on to. I want to make sure I get every piece of dirt out of this ruin. This is such a godsend. This is wonderful. There we go. I know, Tommy. I know I'm hungry. I know you want me to feed you. I'm gonna have to be tough. Just a few more minutes here. Alright, that's it. That's it. Come on. <laughs> Placing... Pillaring up in, in this game is... It feels very different from uh, Minecraft, for example, which is the game most people who find this game are already familiar with. Um... You know, I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put a waypoint here so that I know where I left off, and also because when you find one ruin, sometimes you'll find more ruins. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, that hurt. <laughs> I didn't need to be taking any more damage. Sure didn't. 36 pieces of soil, though. That is amazing. That is perfect. I hope I'm going the right way now. Did I come from the east? Or did I come from the west? I think I might have come... I think I might... I think I was going east, wasn't I? I'm not sure. <laughs> Am I getting... Okay, I'm getting closer to spawn, so I think I'm going the right way. It's tough to play without a map. It really is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna make a big patch of this. I don't think it needs to be even irrigated, so I think I can... I don't even have to put it in the water. Um, hold that up. And hope, hope, hope that we get a piece of grass before too long. I do also have a mod installed. That little waypoint is useless. I need to make that taller. Uh, I do also have a mod installed that will let me pick up hoed soil. Anything? Nothing yet. All right, let's make like a an area up here. Let's just get up here. There we go. I'm just gonna put all of it down. I have more seeds to plant and stuff, but it's all it's all for nothing if I don't get a piece of grass. So, um, yeah, I do have a mod where I can I can pick up soil that has been hoed. So I won't lose it. I will be able to move this later. Um, the reason you normally can't pick up soil that's been hoed is because when you pick it up, it gets all its nutrients back, and I don't want people using it to cheat, which is fair enough. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm not even using this to, to grow food. So when I pick it up to move it, uh, it should be fine. All right. But of course you can see, folks, it's probably gonna be a while before any grass grows because it's low fertility soil. Maybe in a big patch like this, I might get lucky and get one single piece before I starve to death. But I do still need to go out and uh, keep looking. I'm not gonna be able to rely on this. If I had high fertility soil or something, or I, I don't know if it's just the soil. Oh, I also got uh, cabbage seeds from that. Let's go see if by any stroke of sheer luck, this um, trader over here wants a basket. I don't even know if any of them ever buy baskets. But I can get a couple of gears. I can use that to... Well, from this one, I can only buy building materials. But if I find a food trader, uh, having gears would be very helpful. That's another thing I want to see if I can adjust about the game, is to go into the... See, see if the traders are configurable, and increase the amount that they'll pay for items. You don't want a basket. Of course you don't. Why would you want a basket? Alright, okay, I'm heading east now. Take a quick trip, see if we see anything nearby. Um, yeah, I, I feel like it's a little bit unreasonable, considering the resources and time that go into making or finding... The items. Oh, there's more hairs right there. I want to kill them. 
But, uh, oh, actually, you know what I can do? The hares are useless for this, but find some foxes. Find some of those foxes. Uh, sometimes when you butcher a fox, you get a piece of fat, and you can eat that raw, and it's actually very nutritious. You don't need a fire for that, so I can live off of that for now. Seem to have left all the foxes behind, though. Which is not very helpful. Maybe over here by this tree. We're kind of going through different biomes as we as we travel here. It's also not helping that um, everything's white, of course. What's this? Nothing. Uh, and the foxes do kind of hide. They curl up in a little ball. There we go. Is that a fox or is it? No, that's a hare. No, it's a fox. Okay. Sweet. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Come on. Stay where you are. No, no. Stop it. Don't do this. Ah! I mean, I could try to just box it in. There we go. I guess that works. Please drop some fat for me, friend. I am literally starving to death. I'm sorry, I know I'm killing you, and you probably aren't that sympathetic to my problems, but... I'm hungry. What do you expect? You kill hares when you're hungry. I'm not the bad guy here. <laughs> Dang it, no fat. Okay. Again, I'm clearing the carcasses because I think even the bones might affect the spawn rate. I might be wrong. If the bones don't affect the, the spawning of uh, other animals... Oh, this one might have a food vessel. I can't remember which one this has. Okay, there's a ruin right here. It will have a vessel in it. Oh, this has two vessels. One of them is a farming and the other one is tool, I think. Farming might have straw in it? The tool one is, is might have metal tools, which would be awesome. Right now, there's the tool one. Got the inventory space. What do we got? Yeah, I usually just get flint tools. Oops. Well, I need to move this anyway. Farming, give me something good! Well... <laughs> I've got more cattails. If I get enough cattails, I can uh, make a basket that I can put on the ground. I'm gonna- I'm just gonna toss these. Um... And then I can have some actual storage. See any more foxes in this direction? Maybe I should go back. There were plenty of foxes around my, my little base area there. Right now, that seems to be my only hope. Just getting enough foxes. That uh, drops some fat. Huh, I'm gonna head back. Doesn't seem to be anything useful this way at the moment, and really, really my, my need is quite urgent right now. I've, I've got a pretty high priority set on feeding myself one way or another. Again, if the game were a little more reasonable, I would just eat this raw meat for at least a little bit of nutrition, but it's not letting me. It says no. Game developer said no. No, you may not eat raw meat under any circumstances, not even for a little bit of nutrition. Nah. -uh. So what am I gonna do, you know? Look for some- look for some foxes is what I'm gonna do. Oh, I saw the hares around here. The hares drop red meat, which is far more nutritious, but again, it has to be cooked. And, um... I don't have any way to do that, and the hares never drop fat. At least not that I've found. Let's head back over here where there were tons of foxes. There were loads of them, right? Oh... Getting low, getting low on health now. It's not the best. I'm not extremely excited about that. This is the fastest walking speed, by the way. It still feels so slow. Yeah, there's the hairs right there. That's right. All right. I'll try to remember that there's hairs over here, because they're probably not going to come far enough. I'll, I'll probably make another hair trap right here once I am no longer starving. I'll pick up some of that soil over there and make another hair trap. Okay, there's a fox. There's a fox. I'm gonna do what I just did, because I think that was maybe more effective. Just make sure it absolutely- ah, goodness. Make sure it can't get out, okay. Please give me some fat. Is it- maybe it's just the females that have fat, actually. Let's- let's see if that is true. That's just a theory I just came up with right now on the spot. I could be totally wrong. Please have fat. It doesn't- oh no! Okay. Another fox. I don't know why I'm bothering to clean up my mess here. At the moment, it's not 
the most important thing. Most important thing right now is Ira needs food. Ira needs num nums. Ira is very hungry. Where are all the foxes? There were so many foxes over here before. <laughs> Where have they all gone? Let's take a peek and see if we got uh, real lucky and got any grass. It's very unlikely. I don't think so. I don't think I see any there. I don't trust my eyes at this distance. No, no grass yet. Okay. Uh, there's a bunny. That's not helpful. That's not helpful at all. Usually I'm so excited to see bunnies because that red meat is so much more nutritious. But again, only useful if you have a way to cook it. Here we go. We got a fox. We got a fox. Fox, I real hope you're I really hope you're a chubby fox. Hope you're a chubby fox. And you Oh my gosh, stupid ice. I hate it so much. Okay. Please, please, please have have fat on you. Okay. Okay. Cutting it up. I'm getting I'm getting low on that health. Getting low on the old health there, friends. Oh, you got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Okay. This is getting ridiculous now. Uh, I think there were foxes back this way, back at the actual world spawn, right? I seem to recall finding a whole bunch of foxes around here. So this way? Somewhere over here. Glad that the sun is up, at least. I see a fox over there. Maybe I'll get lucky with this one. <laughs> but this is probably going to be the game for a while, folks. It's probably just going to be me running around, frantically killing foxes, and then now and then checking back in to see if there's, uh... a... any grass so that I can make a fire. If I manage to get enough fat that I can fill up my hunger bar. I'll, I'll probably take another excursion. Oh, come on. This is just terrible luck now. They don't... I don't normally take this long. The reason I'm making sure I'm up this much higher, by the way, is so that the foxes don't bite me. I'm already dying. I don't need fox bites on top of that. Come on. Come on, baby. Be a chubby fox. Please be chubby. Oh, come on! <laughs> this is like the worst luck I've ever had. I know it's not common drop from the foxes, but I think I should have got at least one by now. There we go. It is funny how the corpses just sort of float up. Yes! Okay. Got my first bit of fat. Can stop taking damage. For a moment here. There we go. Put these back up here. Alright. Let's clear away the bones. I've got myself a small window here. I do still probably want to go and just kill some more foxes right now. At least I'm not actively starving to death. Let's head this way, looking for more foxes. Haven't been this way yet. Is that... It's just stone over there, I think. Got excited. I saw something that wasn't white. I was like, oh, is this something good? Is this something useful? I think it's just rock. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, that's just rock. Nothing immediately apparent right there. I haven't been bothering trying to find, like, underground ruins or anything, because I don't think they're likely to have much in the way of useful food. Oh, God. The fog and the glare. I cannot see a thing. Heading north. I gotta keep track of what direction I'm walking in so I can make sure to go back the right way. Oh, I can't see very far. It's that... It's. I think it's a bit foggy. It's just catching the uh, sunlight. Just give myself a little waypoint here. Again, I'm probably gonna take a little damage, but... Yeah. Go this way a little bit. If I don't see anything, I'm gonna head back. And probably... Uh, Probably pray for grass, I guess? Honestly, I don't think there's gonna be grass yet. 
The other thing is, I don't know if the grass grows when I'm not there or if it has to be loaded. That's another question. Maybe the developers are watching my videos here again. Uh, does the grass grow on tilled but unplanted soil if the chunk isn't loaded? Or do you actually have to be nearby? In which case, this is going to be even harder. I gotta, I gotta, you know, move around to find enough food. And, oh god, it's so bright! Normally I complain that colors are too dim. Too washed out. Too dark. But this is just, like, this is not... Well, I... I, I want to say this isn't, uh... Lead. I don't need that. This isn't, like, poor quality video or whatever. It's really just, like, almost pure white. Like, if I go like this, almost the entire top half of the screen is pure white. And nothing, of course. Of course nothing. Of course nothing. Why would there be anything? Um, well, I've been in every direction at least a little ways. I need to find more foxes. I don't remember if there were foxes in this direction or not. Let's go take a peek. Uh, maybe I'll just kind of make a circle around this area. I'm worried that that dirt needs to be loaded. Oh, look at this! Folks! We got a little family of regular foxes! Little red foxes here! Oh my goodness, I didn't know they could spawn, honestly. Come on down here. Um, I haven't gone far. Wow, there's a whole bunch of them! Okay, guess what, my friends? I'm gonna name you... Dinner. Okay, if I can just... Ugh. Um... All right, I think this will work. Let's let's start slaughtering foxes. I feel bad because they have no chance. <laughs> Trying to jump out. That actually might be possible. I should be careful. They can jump on top of each other. I think. I'm just gonna keep stabbing till somebody dies. These guys are tougher than the Arctic ones, aren't they? Okay. Um. Nope. <laughs> okay. That works. This is a tricky, tricky uh, little thing to try to pull off here. All right, we're we're get, we're getting somewhere. Whoops! Uh oh! Careful! Careful! No! 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 Ah. They will try to try to kill me. Of course they will. I'm trying to kill them. That's fair. That's just self defense. Come on! Come on out of there, <laughs> little, little fox friend. All right, if you're gonna be down there like that. Hopefully I can uh, get it this way without getting bit. There we go, okay, and up it goes, up the elevator. Woo, all right, hopefully some of these will have some fat on them. Well, not yet. By the way, all this meat that I've got, which is so exciting, uh, it is gonna go bad eventually. So it's not like I have a permanent source of food here. Oh boy. I don't even know if the regular foxes get fat on them or if that's an arctic fox thing. Okay, here we go. We got a piece of fat. We got a piece of fat, folks. Buy me a little bit more time again. Just the one. Um, it's amazing that just like regular red foxes spawned here though. We got one more, and it's jittering. It's jittering. It's shaking. Don't be scared there, little dead fox. You're already dead. Nothing worse can happen to you. Shucks. Okay, I just got the one. Well, a one is a better better than a zero. Let's eat that right away. Lump of fat. How are we doing? This is one, three, three days. 7.3. Okay, we'll combine these two. Get on out of this pit here. Um... It's been a few minutes. We'll go, might be going worth. Might be worth. I can't words today, folks. I cannot words. Might be worth going and checking. See if we get lucky enough to get a piece of grass. I don't. I don't think so. Honestly, I think. I think. In my other world, I didn't get a piece of grass to grow on the. Uh, on the dirt for like. Like an in-game week. It. It took a while. Okay. Um. Let's see. Maybe the best thing to do is to pick a direction and just go for, like, a while. 
This direction was the kind of flattest, I think. So the most likely to have ruins in my experience. If I can find forage vessel that has grass in it, which is not uncommon at all, you just have to find them. That would enable me to survive a bit longer. Move this up here as well. This is something I don't like. If you have something in your in your containers here and you pick up another one and you have space in your hotbar, it'll go in your hotbar. It won't automatically join the others, which is a shame. Uh, I would prefer if it did. So while we got some daylight here, I'm going to head off to the south and see if I can get lucky. Find a ruin with a forage loot vessel in it. And uh, see if we can get some grass. Because if not, man, I don't know. I need grass. I can't live without grass. There's a ruin over there. Let's head towards that. That's a big one, I think. I'm trying to remember. I, I've definitely come across these kind of wall segments before. I think they have one loot vessel that I'm aware of. And I don't think it's a forage vessel. You know what's funny? Usually when I play just the regular basic... Uh, vintage story game. Those forage vessels are useless almost immediately. But when you play a challenge like this, they're actually really important. <laughs> like, really important. It's like the most important thing in the game. This will have some dirt for sure. Yeah, there's some dirt. Oh, uh, what are we gonna have here? I think this one just has a tool vessel. I think it's right here in the middle. It'll be right here. Yeah, that's a tool vessel. Well, I'm gonna grab it. We got... There's tons of dirt here, though. I have so many axes. I don't need all these axes! I'm not gonna take all the dirt right now. Maybe I should. Maybe I should just take all the dirt. The more I have, the more likely I am to get grass, right? And there is tons of it here. Let's do that. I'm gonna pick up all this dirt. Alright, 41 soil I could easily grab from this. Um, it is now super foggy again, and I cannot see a thing, which is not the best. Uh, so if there's any more ruins out here, I'm not going to be able to find them. So I'm going to head back with the soil, which I know is in this direction, roughly. Uh, try not to fall in any holes. And see if we can get lucky and get some grass. Alright, that fog is starting to clear a little bit. Folks, it is so dangerous. <laughs> going over the glacier with fog like that because there are just giant holes that will open up right in front of you, like that one. Oh boy. I told you folks this was gonna be a challenge. I'm sure you believe me at this point. Hopefully most of you believe me from the start. I, I don't think I'm known for being dishonest. I certainly hope not. Let's get this back. And just, again, just kinda hope and pray. Maybe do a little more fox hunting. Hopefully some more foxes will be spawning around here now. I'm gonna go ahead and replace this glacier ice with the dirt. So I don't have to slip and slide around my own dang base. Oops. Because of the slipping and sliding, I already misplaced one. It's fine. I have so much ice. This is just for symmetry, which is totally unimportant, but... What can we do? And done. Okay, we've got a huge area here. Lots of potential for grass. I'm just saying if any grass felt like growing, this is a good place to do it and also the only place available on the map. So, you know, just, just putting that out there in case any grass feels like growing. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be starving again soon. I need to find some more foxes to kill, I guess. There's plenty of bunnies in here. They're not bunnies, they're hares. Ha! Gotcha. Gotcha, little so-and-sos. You better be chubby. <laughs> My life depends on it. My life depends on you being a little bit chubs. Viewers, if you're watching this, pray with me. Yes! We got a piece of fat. We got a piece of fat just as I started. To starve to death again. By the way, I'm not going to be recovering health until I can get that hunger bar full. So all this health that I'm losing, it's, it's, it's cumulative. Crap. Alright. Well, I think uh, this episode has probably pretty much come to a close. 
So, um, thank you all for watching. Be a bit of a cliffhanger again. Uh, I might take a break before the next episode, but I'll be honest, I probably will have recorded it before, uh, before you've seen this one. So, again, your comments, I'll read your comments for sure, but by the time I read them, I'll probably be much further along. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for joining me, and, uh, see you next time, I guess. Hey everyone, it's Ira again. It's me, Ira. I'm Ira. Uh, I got some feedback that uh, people like the whole having a little wrap up at the end of the episode, so I can I can do a little bit of that some of the time. Um, the first episode is out as I am uh, recording this and editing this video together. So I've had I actually have had a chance to see a couple of your comments. Um, one thing that I think maybe I didn't make clear enough or that people maybe are misunderstanding is the point of the not using the map challenge. It's not so I don't get lost. I'm not going to get lost. Um, I can make waypoints to find my way, and also I have the coordinates up. I haven't hidden the coordinates, so I can always just go towards 000, and that'll always take me back to my base. So the point is not to, to get lost, the point is to make exploration harder. So if I open the map, even just to check a waypoint or whatever, um, it will show everything around me, including things that I can't actually see. And I'm trying to make that more difficult. I'm trying to increase the challenge of finding the ruins and finding the ores and things like that. So that's why I'm doing that. If it starts to get to be too ridiculous, then I'll stop. But for now, I will I will just do it that way and I will, uh, you know, I'll edit around any long periods where I'm just kind of wandering, doing nothing. So you won't be bored by it. Um, so that's the point of that. And uh, that was the main one. Also, I think somebody commented something about, do I know that I can break the cobblestone? I do. I know I can break the cobblestone. I, I have been intentionally not breaking the cobblestone because breaking through the ice, the glacier ice, is way faster to get down to where the dirt is. So that's why I've been doing it that way. Um, also, somebody suggested I mod the game so that shovels will make snow easier to dig up. And I may try to do that, but that will be... That will be... It's not just a tweak. I'd have to actually add something. So, um less confident about that, but it's a maybe. I'm, I might do it. Or if somebody else knows how to do it and wants to throw it together, let me know. I would be happy to use that. I think that's all I have to say about this episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. And uh, uh, do a, a like, and, like and subscribe, and check out my Patreon, because um, I have rent to pay. Thanks. I love you.